Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today I have a confession to make. I don't use bins as much as I should when I'm editing, especially editing large projects. Now, just like in real life, a bin is something that can help you keep all your bits and bobs organized and have a successful and easy time doing something. Same is true with editing. So today we're gonna to talk about all the amazing tools Vegas has given you to use bins. If you're like me, you just throw everything in your project and you get started, but sometimes, especially with a bigger project, it's worth the investment to sort everything out in your bins and tag everything and use all these amazing tools that we just skip over half the time. So unless you wanna be like me and have your desk look like this, I suggest we listen up and we start using some bins. So we're in Vegas Pro 17 and this is a large project. In fact, it's the copy of a large project that I just finished about how to make videos like Minute Physics. And this is a great example because it in contains a ton of different kinds of media, it would have been a great time for me to use bins, and it would have saved me a little time in the process, but I did not. Now, I do want to remind you before we get started that the video trimmer exists, and if you don't know how to make subclips and name those subclips and things like that, I highly suggest you checking out my video trimmer tutorial, because using that in tandem, like breaking up long clips in tandem with these sorting efforts, you're really, really, really going to gonna like some things about it. So here's the deal. A lot of times you start your media, you just drag it all in, maybe from your explorer right to your timeline, and then you got your project media and just kind of sort through it, grab it, and throw it on the timeline like so, and then get started. That's actually uh, uh, only gonna work for smaller projects because eventually you're gonna spend more time looking for what you're looking for. So one thing you can do actually is create extra bins. So first you have custom bins. And with this, I want you to right click it and create a new bin and then just name it anything you want. With this thing, you just grab anything you want and you can put it in there. It's just a folder, right? So if you're just like, really, I want to be able to find my intro when I want to find my intro, you can just select it, grab it here at the name and drag it all the way to anything that does not remove it from all media because these are different. Uh, that What that does do is put it in the anything bin. So now it's the only clip in the anything bin. So now you can see the power of this, right? As you grab more things, you can make it to where you have a name of different types of footage. Well, so that's all well and good. There's You can actually can continue to add new bins as well, but uh, sometimes you might just want to search your media by type. And if you do that, when you go to all media, then you can go to media by type. A lot of times people click on this and they go, oh, I guess it doesn't do anything. But actually, you need to expand it out. If you go to audio, now you can see all the different audio snippets I used in this video. And then if you go to video, you can see all the different video snippets I used, including the uh, titles and text I've used. And then if you go to stills, you can see all the different stills I used and made in this video. And so that is a ton of really, really cool things you can do. Now, tagged media, we're going to skip over this a second, but we're about to look at that because I made this tag media thing. You'll see it in a second. What smart bins are is you can actually create a smart bin by creating a search. First, go to all media, right click it, search media bins, and then you can search names and says contains, and you can make a rule. And so, for example, a lot of these photos, let me go back here so I can see it. A lot of these photos from my camera, uh, when they're just an actual picture from my camera, they're a certain kind of photo, DSC, 00, zero and some numbers. So what I can do is easily find all these photos by going right click, search media bins, name, and you can search by any of these things, tags, alpha size, pixel, bit depth, wow, a lot of, a lot of really great fields to search from. but. Uh, name is an easy and common one you're going to do and you can make a rule like contains or does not contain and uh, contains and I'm going to say D S C 0 0 and then search and you can even add more conditions if your search isn't crazy enough so now you have a search result 
Now you can save it as a bin or you can save it as a smart bin. Now what your smart bin does is now anything that follows this rule that you add to the project will now become part of this smart bin. The smart bin can be programmed essentially. It has rules it can follow where everything that you add with this naming schema will now end up in this bin. How freaking cool is that? So that's like another really, really awesome thing. So now let's say that you want to uh, go to tagged media. Let's say you want to tag some things. Well, there's a lot of different media in here, but uh, sometimes I might might make a quick way of sorting it out. Let's say I select this and I call this downward because every time my camera's facing downward for this particular video. So I can hit downward and hit enter and now it has a tag and now I can actually search by tags or I can go to my tag media and see everything that's got this tag. I tagged that one Mike earlier and that's why these are here and you can actually use this to sort and find media very 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 quickly and you can use that in the custom with smart bins you can use smart bins to use tags you created to create even more fancy rules so now you're really seeing some of the power of this but this gets even better so let's say you want to make one I'm gonna call this light I don't have a lot of lights but let's say I did have a lot of just pictures of my lighting setup uh, there then I would just hit light and then I would hit control shift and one now you can see while I'm editing this I can actually hit control shift and one or control shift and two or control shift and three and create a hotkey to pull up everything with that media so then if I hit enter there we go and then let's hit this and let's say I want to name this right I can control one now that's got light two. control one now that's also light now these are really bad names for these uh, so I don't actually want to name them that but you can see how hitting control one and adding one of these tags you probably wouldn't have more than 10 tags but adding your top 10 tags to all your media with just a button click would be a really quick and easy way to get everything sorted out you can add multiple tags to media because certain things you know might have multiple tags so maybe this is a mic but it's also b-roll and then this is also a mic and it's also b-roll and so what I really should have done is when I'm typing B roll right here I should have hit control shift 2 and then so now I can go to this one and I can hit control 1 control 2 now it's got both tags this one's B roll but it's not a light so I'm gonna delete the light with hitting the X and then hit control shift 1 oh wait that brings up a good point if you have the editing box open and then you hit control shift whatever you'll bring it back to nothing so uh, you'll need to if you're adding a tag or something you'll need to be careful about that control shift one now I've added it back now without the box open without this text box open when I click on it again you can hit control uh, control one and then now I've added a tag mic I didn't want to do that actually I want to hit control two and add the tag b-roll so now this one's b-roll this is light and this is also b-roll so see you can see how this really really gets convenient here when you can use that in tandem with custom bins and smart bins to really sort your media out very quickly now where this gets really 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 cool is you can go to your main timeline here and you can actually sort things out by did not mean to do that you can actually sort things out by going to let's say first I want let's go to all all media and then I got a main shot here I'm gonna tag this main and then enter and then I see I don't have any other main twos or anything but then this one I'm gonna actually remove that tag and tag it intro so there now I've got an intro tag for that so now I'm gonna go to my intro here and I'm going to drag it to my main timeline and then I'm going to go to my main and I'm going to drag it to my main whoopsie control Z there I did not mean to move that move that there all media so main I'm going to drag this to my main timeline and then 
Now you can see how this is populating. When I drag it to the main timeline, it's actually adding to the timeline. So this is a way to quickly storyboard things. If you have things previously cut up, i.e. maybe the video trimmer, as we've talked about in another tutorial, and named and things like that, you could quickly just drag everything down to the main timeline box and build your rough cut really fast. Now you're still going to want to do your J cuts and pretty things up and do your audio leveling and all that jazz. Still plenty of editing to do, but you can see how if you have a very, very nicely organized project, you might have hours and hours and hours of footage, but you'll be able to go boop, 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 just by the names and tags, build a rough cut of a project in seconds. And here's the really cool thing about this is you can actually trim it in timeline. So up here, you gotta, you got to be careful with it, though. You see this little highlighted section? You can drag it. I clicked and drag. You can click and drag and actually lengthen it and shorten it right on this storyboard time. Now, that's something that's, that's a very big power, right? So be careful when you're doing that to make sure you're not overlapping or things where you're not supposed to do. But, uh, you know, so you can even build your rough cut even more where you're like, that's a, that's a good one. But, you know, I don't want to have to cut it out and do more two more cuts from it. Really, I just know I just want this middle piece right here. Then you can just drag it in and keep the middle piece. And there you go. Again, building a rough cut really fast. So now you can see the immense power of this. You can actually make alternate storyboards. If you go to your storyboard bins, you can actually right-click and hit Create New Bin. And then it's, it's called unassociated. That means it's not actually dropping to a sequence down here, to a timeline. But uh, you can just name it Alt Cut. And then you could even come down here and create an alternate uh, cut where you could actually sequence out things and kind of see in your head where this sequence is going to go or what a possible sequence could look like or or alternate all your alternate b-roll cuts in a certain order and it's a great way to order out everything in an actual timelineable order uh, this appears on your timeline this one won't but that is how to use bins in your favor so you can really see how this could be a great time saver so Thank you so much for watching. This has been a Vegas Pro 17 tutorial, and we have so many more on the way. Thank you to my patrons so much for helping me out, and um, thank you for everybody's likes and watches and views and buying things from my affiliates link. Everybody has been helping me out a ton. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the positive comments, and I hope to keep coming out with more and more content as we go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.